Hey what's up guys Faisal here and welcome back to another video on our channel Billion Dollar iTech. In today's video I will show you how to create animated slides on PowerPoint completely free. Create a new slide, once done, then click on design, then we open the format background, let's add color to the background, once done close it, let's go back to the home. Click on shapes, click on rectangle shape, draw the shape, once done, click on shape format, let's change the color, then click on no outline, let's go back to the home tab, click on shapes, select side corner rectangle. adjust it to the center now click on shape format match the color with the rectangle select no outline click on text box add text here slide a select the text change the font increase the size Change the color of the text. Click Ctrl A on Windows or Command A on Mac. Select all. Now let's group them together. For Windows, press Ctrl G. For Mac, press Option Command G. Now let's duplicate this shape. For Windows, hold Ctrl Shift and drag it down. Or for my case, for Mac, hold option shift and drag it down so here we duplicate the same rectangle now let's change the color click on shape format shape fill once done select the side corner rectangle and change the positioning now let's adjust the both rectangles now hold option shift and drag down this slide click on shape format change the color select side corner rectangle and drag it to the left side now let's adjust the rectangle now let's duplicate it again hold option shift and drag it down change the color now let's change the text color Click on home, change the text color, select side corner rectangle and drag it to the left side, adjust the rectangle, that's all. Now let's change the text one by one, change the color, once you complete it you should have something like this. Select the slide A, click on shape format, click on format pen, select effects tab, set the preset first, you can choose top right, set the transparency to 50%, size is 100, the blur will change it to 25, angle is 0, distance is 5 points. You'll notice there is a shadow added to the slide A. Now let's repeat the same process for rest of the slides. Format text, format pen, we'll select the effects, select the top right, select the top right preset, transparency 50%, blur 25 points, angle is 0, distance is 5 points. So this is how we will add shadow to the background. Now it should look something like this for all the slides. Let's decrease the size a bit. Select all. You can press Ctrl A on Windows and Command A on Mac. Drag all of them down. Now select the first one and bring it up. 
To save your time, I have already created this infographic slide. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy this infographic element from here and paste it over there. Copy it, Control C or Command C and paste it here. Let's just resize it. Change the color. Select the text color together with the slide and press Ctrl G on Windows or Option Command G on Mac to group them together. Once done, right click on the slide and click send back. Now bring the second slide over here. We'll copy this element from this slide, Control C and paste it here, Control V or on Mac, Command V. Adjust the size of the element. Change the text color. Once done, select the element and the slide and press Option Command G on Mac or Control G on Windows to group them together. Once done, right click, click send to backward. Now we'll bring the slide C over here. Copy the elements from this slide. Control C on Windows or Command C on Mac. Command V to paste it. Change the size of the element, adjust the text and change the color of the text. Once done, select the elements and the slide. Press Option Command G on Mac to group them or Control G on Windows. Right click, click Send backwards. Once done, we'll bring the last slide, slide D over here. Let's copy the elements from this slide, Ctrl C or Command C, Command V to paste it, adjust the positioning of the slide, change the text color. Okay, now we'll select all the slides, press Ctrl A on Windows or Command A on Mac, drag them down. Now let's add a text to the background over here. So let me copy some text from here. Control C or Command C to copy it and paste it over here. Adjust the text. Now let's add a movement to this particular slides where you press next and the slides move up. To do that, we we'll select the slide. Now let's go to the animation over here. Select on path animation, select lines. Then we'll select the effect option. In our case, we'll select up. You'll notice the slide is going up. Now we'll adjust the slide accordingly. Click on this. Drag it to the up. Make sure it's lined properly. Once done. Now let's select the slide B, path animation. Click on lines, click on effects option, select up, move it up, press enter. Now select the slide C, click on path animation, select lines, effect option, we'll select the up effect. We'll do the same for the last slide. So finally, our animated slides are ready. You can download them completely free. Link is in the description below. If you find this video informative, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I'm your host Faisal. Until then, peace.